Hi everyone and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. For this week's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to turn your cake into this stunning flower basket. This is excellent for a new baker. I have chosen to use artificial flowers and I'm going to show you just how easy they are to apply directly to the cake in a food safe way. Obviously, if you want to, you can use real flowers and also make your own sugar flowers. This is a very cost effective way to get such a beautiful effect that anyone can afford to buy. So excellent for your customers. The handle is completely made out of sugar. There is even some compost, edible compost underneath those flowers. I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful basket weave effect which is why it's perfect if you are new to baking. You don't have to be really neat with fondant. Happy baking everyone. I really do hope this helps you and it would make not just an excellent celebration cake, but it would be perfect for Mother's Day. Let's make a start. Start by baking a six inch ball cake. Taking a four inch round cake drum covered with foil to protect it, I then simply cut away a small amount of cake from one of the spherical cakes I have just baked. I want this to be 4 inches in diameter. Take the cake you have just trimmed and place this on a cake drum covered in some baking paper. Add a filling of your choice to your cake. Here I am using my vanilla buttercream which is perfect for both filling crumb coating and piping and you will find this recipe on my YouTube channel. Now simply place the other half of the cake directly on top of the filling and crumb coat. Crumb coat is a process where you simply apply buttercream to your cake. This will give something for the fondant to adhere to but in the meantime it will also protect the cake from the air and from drying out. Roll out exactly 750 gram of a light brown fondant, keeping this in a circular shape. I then drape this over my cake, negotiating the pleats from the top to the bottom. But please remember what I mentioned in the introduction to this tutorial. Do not worry if it's not neat, because we are going to be covering this with the basket weave effect. You want to push it all the way to the base first and then get your hands in there and get it just underneath. That cake drum is there for a reason. We want to create a little bit of extra space for the compost and the flowers and this will set even though it's just fondant and it will keep its shape. So just take your time, go all the way down the sides and cut off any excess. I then simply flip the cake back over to make sure all of the excess is cut off. Now I am going to put this back but I just want you to see what we've actually achieved. You see that little well we've created with the basket? That's by adding the cake drum. That's where our compost will go. We'll be able to add the supports for the fondant handle and also the flowers. Replace the cake drum back in there and then you want to flip it back over so that we can make a start on the basket weave effect. Here I am using a sugar extruder. Now don't worry if you don't have one of these because you can always roll out the shapes yourself. All this allows me to do is get a really even sausage shape very easily. As you can see, once you get it going, you just gently squeeze and it comes out. And this is what I'm going to be using to create this beautiful basket weave effect. I then place this directly onto my cake and glue into place with a small amount of edible glue. I then use an Umbrella 5 6 Division Wilton Sugar Craft Tool just to add a little bit of detail. However, this could easily be done with a cocktail stick, so do not worry if you do not have this tool in your collection. We now need to place some smaller pieces of fondant horizontally this time, and we're going to miss a gap. So simply place this directly onto the cake with some edible glue, 
over the piece that you've just added that's vertical miss a gap and place another one further down and keep on working your way down until you get right to the base the next step is to add another piece of fondant but this time vertically add a little bit more detail using your umbrella tool or if you do not have one a cocktail stick and then we're going to go across again horizontally but in those gaps that we have just left all the way from the top to the bottom of the cake you simply want to repeat this process until the whole of the cake is actually covered it's a very simple easy technique so i keep on going vertically and then horizontally just filling in those gaps once you've got the hang of it it's very therapeutic really relaxing to do and the effects that you end up with as you can see here in this speeded up footage are just absolutely beautiful so again horizontally vertically don't worry if you make a mistake somewhere because this cake is so busy you will not notice and again remember you can always use a cocktail stick if you have a limited amount of baking equipment for our handle we need to use modeling paste so we add a small amount of tylo powder to some of the fondant that we have left over and simply knead this in this will allow this to set lovely and hard I have used my sugar extruder again so the, the sausage shapes are the right size and then I simply cover each one with some edible glue stick them together place some more edible glue over the top and then you want to twist them into a handle like shape I then use a cupcake cutter so that they can set in the shape and size that I want them to I then simply trim off the excess and insert a lollipop stick this will act as my support you want to leave this to dry so my cake is in the fridge my handle is to one side to allow it to set so just to show you how easy it is to do the cake drum I use a quilting tool and just go over all of the fondant that's on there this will just add a beautiful effect once this has been done taking a ball tool simply add indentations to where I want to add each individual pearl I then simply add an edible pearl to each indentation this can be done by hand if you do not have one of these tools because I have kept my cake refrigerated I am now physically able to lift this up with my hands without actually damaging it and place it on the decorated cake drum make sure your handle is completely set just tap it first and then insert this directly into your cake all I do for the compost is just blend a few bourbon biscuits if you don't have a blender these can be crushed it will just take you that little bit longer but look at that beautiful effect that they actually leave using a small spoon I simply add this directly to that well that we made on the top of our cake you want to do this before we apply the artificial flowers this is how you safely insert a real flower an artificial flower or a sugar flower into a cake below these you will see the white things that are actually covering the stem these are called flower picks they are completely food safe and these are allowed to be inserted into a cake so I have made up two artificial sets of flowers there's more details on how I made these flowers and kept them cost effective over on my Facebook if you want to watch that short video but then you just push the flower pick directly into the cake and it really is as easy as that so the only supports that are in here are two flower picks and the ends of each lolly stick holding that completely edible handle once you have added the flowers just simply rearrange them once they're on there remember if you're using fresh flowers they're not going to last as long and need to be added last minute so this is a great alternative and it's extremely cost effective happy baking everyone i really do hope i've helped you again today and i'll be back soon with more new 
completely free content.